This is Juliana Rani Carbreeze, and I'm in my hotel, the Casa Margot, uh, boutique hotel in Fetier, and I'm with the owner. Tell me your name. This is Halil Yilmaz Türker. And Ooh, can welcome. you repeat that a bit slowly? Halil Yilmaz Türker in Casa Margot Hotel. Yeah. And it's really nice to have you. Good, thank you very much. Now, um, you're originally from Istanbul, is that right? Yes. Okay. My family is from uh, near Izmir. There's a place called Uşak and my mom and dad is from there. And I born in Emirgan, Istanbul. I'm 28 years old. You're very young to have a hotel. Yes, people are always telling me and I also look young. Yes. Not really uh, people say, I don't know, but people say that. Well, never believe what people say. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you're, in fact, the hotel, the concept of the hotel is also to be like a gallery. It is. Because it's full of antiques. Um, they're reproduction, aren't they? But yes, it's not actually labeled antiques, but it's... Uh, in antique style. In antique style, but some of them are really old. Yes. Uh, because I gathered them around Istanbul. Some pieces are from Italy and some pieces are from also France. And they have uh, oriental influences on French art uh, and, and basically the, the gallery is on the ground floor. Yes, in the uh, lobby. Yeah, in, in two different rooms, two different lounges. And uh, you've got some very, very beautiful chairs and sofas. Really, really nice. So tell me about the concept of the hotel. So it's... Uh, How we... it started... Uh, the story behind it, my, my mom and my dad was driving with my car, with my uh, sports car. They were driving down the coast to Antalya from... Uh, on uh, holiday? Yeah, just on holiday. And they were just going on a tour by the coastline. So they uh, started... Uh, they were just in a friend visit in Fethiye. Uh -huh. And they took uh, a coffee in a just... Uh, in the marina, they were taking coffee, and my father saw the sign on a apartment. It's like sold, you know, like or rental, and he just wonders uh, how uh, an apartment would cost here. And he calls the uh, real estate agency, and she came, picked her up, and showed a couple of places. And he never. So had... it was completely spontaneous. It was completely spontaneous. And how many years ago was that? It was. Five and a half years ago. And so, what, one of the properties was this old pension? Yeah, they were just driving. The real estate agency was trying to um, show around to make, to get the investors, you know? Yeah, yeah. And a little tour. Yeah, a little tour. And even she didn't uh, told my dad this building was sold. My father asked why this building is empty. And at that time, the old uh, owner is a doctor also from, and he is from Ushak, where my family comes from. Oh, right. Yeah, but they had a connection from there. Okay. They didn't know each other, but they make a connection with the roots. So, and uh, then my father asks if this building is, it's a really nice view. And if it's, Spectacular. and why this is empty, why this is like, old pension is a ruined building, why there's, and what did the man say? He says it's uh, the old uh, owner has didn't renovate it so many years and it needs a renovation and had some, a lot of money to renovate some problems of around. And so after that, just and we were not we were not really that close with my father. So at that time, I was in the college, and so after a year, my father bought the building. And after a year, I come with my friends to Butterfly Valley, to uh, Kabak, uh, just to make camping, you know. And with the camping, I, my father, I, my mom, I called my mom that I'm in Fethi, and she told me that your father bought a building there, you should visit. And I come with my friends in the half past seven or like eight o'clock. At really night? In the, at and night. really in the morning, because we were driving all the way. And then I just uh, looked at the building and went inside. There were homeless people living inside. Oh my God, 
people were, squatting. Yeah, people were squatting because the owner wasn't here. It was outside, yeah, you know, yeah, and yeah. Uh, nobody was taking care of it. And the inside, there were some old hotel uh, things, you know, the beds and everything. But so people started to drink inside, uh, crash it, uh, 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 crash the windows, and they ruined it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Destroyed it. Destroyed it. And even it was when I entered, I had to call the security people too because they had to kick them out, you know? Yes, just yeah, to look yeah, inside. Yeah, yeah, they were here illegally. Yeah, yeah, illegally. And the neighbors were also really. Uh, the neighbors were also really uh, disturbed about it. Everybody was disturbed because. They were drunk people, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, uh, drug yeah. abuse, yeah, yeah, also, etc., yeah. etc. Et okay, well, how how long? Uh, so you had so this I idea. To, I decided to, uh, before ending the college, I decided to come here and renovate the hotel and make it a decent, nice, small luxury house. Feeling uh, a bit antique, a bit modern. But where did you get your good taste from? Because I you, think from you, the family. <laughs> ah, <laughs> because uh, it really is deluxe. Thank I mean, you. everything yeah. is impeccable. Thank you so much. The, there is not actually a concept. There is not styled for it. It's just subconscious that you go somewhere and you just like it and you want to put it. Yeah, yeah. Your mind connects it. That place is empty, and I want to put that painting in there. Yeah, yeah. I haven't read uh, any. I, I haven't studied any architecture, and this is my first uh, project. Project. Yeah, yeah. So but you want to do more, of course. Yeah, I want to do other concept hotels. This is a 16-room hotel that has really uh, different types of rooms and have a home feeling. We have four kinds of. Uh, room types and beddings and decorations and, oh, and the beds are very very comfortable with magnificent views. Thank well, you. at least my, I haven't been in any other rooms, but my I should room, show you. I should show oh, you. Oh, you will. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm leaving tomorrow, so you better be quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have a roof terrace restaurant, a citrus restaurant, and a pool downstairs. An infinity pool goes down to. You have to do the garden though. I do. I do. I do. Right. Yeah. yeah. I need a gardener. Oh, well, yeah. Well, I'm sure you'll find one. Anyway, I wish you good luck with your Thank you project. So much. Thank and you so much. Uh, it's been really enjoyable staying here. Thank nice you very much. Nice to have and talk to you. Okay, bye. Bye bye.